Chris and Amy Dorsey are building a massive 10,000 square foot outdoorsman's paradise. It wouldn't be an ultimate sportsman's lodge if you didn't have a trophy room. A sauna, a pizza oven. Top of the food chain kitchen, Liars Bar. Gives in her bathroom. <laughs> We're going to have to bring our A game to make this thing work. Let's get this baby going, huh? We had some close friends that shared some advice on their own sportsman's lodge. It's something you enter and begin a journey. This is important for the family to have this kind of a place in the American West. We're Chris and Amy Dorsey, and we're living our dream by building the ultimate sportsman's lodge. As the construction teams prepare for the next critical phase of the build, Others are also laying the groundwork for their own contributions towards creating the Ultimate Sportsman's Lodge. It's part of Chris Dorsey's vision to incorporate elements of the natural world inside the lodge itself. You know, I've, been a, I've been a student of wildlife art for a long, long time. It, you've got to have somebody who understands hunting, who understands the natural world, who studies the movement of these critters. There's a lot of artists that can mostly get that right. But then there's another level of making sure it's got movement, it's got purpose, it's, it's in its habitat as it should be. For the centerpiece above the dining table, the Dorseys have commissioned a one-of-a-kind sculpture. And 1,200 miles to the west in Carmel Valley, California, artist Lance Bowen is creating that signature piece for the Dorseys. So let me show you the scale of this piece. And at this point, of course, it's just in process. It's not three-dimensional, but this is the larger than life size brown trout going to Chris and Amy for the Ultimate Sportsman Lodge. I went big to uh, match the bold architecture of the lodge. Lance Bowen is known for creating giant sculptures of fish and other wildlife out of hand tooled leather and found objects, and his pieces are fanciful and truly unique. Who would ever think of taking junk leather, an old belt, an old saddle, and creating something magnificent? and custom and when Lance put this thing together and, and talked about creating a six foot leather trout you know it's, it's the one piece you could put in your house that nobody else would have. But instead of fitting the Dorsey's trout with an old saddle Lance is hand tooling a surprise into the leather. We talked about creating a brown trout but they have no idea of all the imagery that I created on the surface of the leather. The whole life cycle of the brown trout is tooled within the surface from the eggs to the juvenile fish and then there's some adult brown trout that are kind of ambushing these small fish here. Chris and Amy are, are building just a beautiful lodge there in Colorado. There's so much nature around them. I want to bring that brown trout, larger in life size, into their lodge to, to tell that story. In less than a week, Lance will deliver his masterpiece in person to the Dorseys to take its permanent place among the last of the finished rooms. But I hope every day they see it, it reminds them, hey, we should get out there on the water and do some fishing. I can't wait for this place to be done for a lot of reasons, but one in particular is all the people that have been a part of it. You know, the artists, you know, the, the Banovich paintings, you know, the Barlow bronzes, the LeBlanc bronzes, Lance Bowen's amazing leather works, Sushant Smetana, the photographer, and Mike Jankowski, the, the taxidermist. I mean, these are all people that are a part of this build, that are part of our lives, and, and I want them to see this. I want, to, I want them to see their work and our habitat and know that they're, they're part of the clan here. And over the last several months, six rooms in the south end of the lodge have already come to life. The Alaska Theater, the locker room and dog wash, the outdoor kitchen, photo gallery, and the trophy room. I mean, there's no one person that did this. I mean, it was everybody working together and taking care of each other and really being a team. Perfect. And now, the rest of the rooms are finally ready for their unveiling. We have the right address. This is just this is beautiful.
These are beautiful. Look at this. Yes. They've done an excellent job with these cabinets. This whole house is ergonomic. Look at that. Oh, yeah. You could put a half an elk in there, don't you think? Let's check this out down here. Wow, look at that. Isn't this beautiful? It is. Well, let's check out the bedroom. Luke's going to love this. And this is Nate's room. Oh, yeah. He's going to dig this. From the great room and kitchen to the north end master bedroom, private sitting room, and master bath, the ultimate sportsman's lodge becomes a stunning reality. Look at this. It's feeling like home now. Yeah. But there's still a few important things missing. We need a Banovich right there. I well, mean, it has this... to have a Banovich. And right on time, artists and friends John Banovich and Lance Bowen arrive to personally hang their finished masterpieces in the Dorsey's new home. Lance helps John move his painting called Tusk into the Dorsey's new sitting room. I've spent a lot of time in Africa chasing elephants. I've even swum with elephants. And the intimate details of John's original addition to the Dorsey's new home are incredible. John, that's amazing. Thanks, Chris. I think it looks great in this space. Really sets the tone for the room. Chris, here it goes. Don't fall. Don't hurt that artwork, whatever you do. In the great room, Lance Bowen hangs his original six-foot leather trout masterpiece in its new home. The big fish becomes a frame for all the imagery within. It tells the whole story of the, the brown trout. It's not an ultimate sportsman's lodge until you have something signature in the great room. And that's that signature. I couldn't see my sculpture going to a more beautiful location. Sitting here now, looking at the house, I couldn't have imagined a better place. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can never have Christmas for the first time as a kid again, but it's about as close as I think I'll ever get again. I have a lot of good years there. It's a home. Home is in your heart. It's not just a building. There's a lot of good heart in this building.